All right, so the next tree I'm gonna be working on here is a uh, little camisipras. I plucked this tree from the ground at, um, where was that? I believe it was at Longwood Gardens in Pennsylvania. Yeah, it looks to be doing fairly well. Uh, there was a little group of them that I had to break up, and that's why I ended up with a bare root tree here. The other ones I just potted into small training containers. But this one, I'm gonna make another little mame buns. I am not 100% on which of these two pots I actually wanna use for this tree. And this one is quite small. That could be really cute. It will fit in there. Okay, so I'm gonna cut some roots here. Get a little piece of wire, so I'll be able to tie this tree in. I'm potting this in a mixture of just Akadama and pumice. Somewhere around 70 to 80% small grain Akadama and then the rest being pumice. Tuck as many of these roots in here as I can. Hmm. I think I better run the tie wire through the roots on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and get this wire attached. What I'm going to do is just wrap it up and around the trunk. Uh, it's a technique I generally use on these little trees. These tiny little pots, there's no way you're going to be able to use the, uh, the roots to anchor the tree in. They're just too small. So I'm using the, the trunk to actually anchor it into the pot. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to trying to get these roots tucked into this little pot. So I'm not overly concerned about them circling around. Uh, they're gonna do that anyway. These. Tiny little mom trees to me. It's just the extreme, you know, scale of these teeny tiny containers that I really enjoy. Uh, these are also very Kind of difficult to take care of. Uh, if you can imagine, when it's warm out, this thing needs to be watered multiple times a day. Uh, when the weather's going to be consistently 
pot, I'll usually keep these in a tray of gravel and water just to keep them moist, to keep them cool. too much soil. Now that I've got that pretty well settled in there, just a few fine roots sticking up. And I'm just going to cover the uh, the surface of the pot with a piece of moss. I find that in these tiny little containers, putting a sheet of live moss is really the easiest, the most reliable way to get a good coating of moss on the surface. It's very difficult to cultivate the moss on the surface of the pot. It's just too small, it dries out too quickly. It's very easily washed away. So when it comes to these tiny little mame containers, I always just actually place a layer of growing moss. I try to clean off the underside as best I can but I just find that it's, it makes it so much easier to get an established coating of moss. Rather than you know top dressing and waiting for that moss to grow. Use that wire to put a little bit of movement into this trunk. actually grab that wire give it a little bit of a twist just to tighten it up and that's gonna do it uh, I may need to prune this tree this year but I kind of doubt it uh, just let it recover and establish itself in that pot anyway I hope you enjoyed watching thanks see you next time Bye.